I know we've only done one of these before, but next in our series of London Cheap Eats is Shoreditch. But which bagel shop is the best? We're not going to have a particular budget. We're just going to try and find the best value we can, the cheapest we can. And this is Top Jaw. This is Brick Lane, which I think runs through the heart of Shoreditch. It kind of runs parallel with Bishopsgate. More curry houses here on this street than there are people. Now you definitely, definitely, definitely can't do a Shortish Cheap Eats video without featuring ye old bagel shops. To be honest, they'd be on my list of top Cheap Eats in London, full stop. The whole thing, whole shebang. You have Bagel Bake or Bagel Shop, constant war, rivalry, like Montague and Capulets, the white one and the yellow one. So we're gonna do a little taste test. We're gonna buy a salt beef bagel from the white one and the yellow one. Which bagel shop is better? With a little help from... Hey! No, Mo, the photographer, yay! Prices range from barely nothing to a little bit of money. White shop sold beef bagel in hand. Now yellow shop. Oh, I should probably hide this from us. It's like blasphemy, isn't it, taking the bagel in? So this is the yellow one. This is the bagel shop. This is the one we might remember we made like a rainbow bagel video here. Over there. Cool, see you. Thanks. Got both sold beef bagel in hand. I'm a little bit confused over which is which. You know when people ask you, if you've eaten one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mine would be pizza. So they made pizzas here in a proper big old stone fire oven and they start from £3.95. A whole pizza, a whole margarita for £3.95. It's called Frying Pan Alley. It's a real name, I haven't made it up. Got here Tropicali. Yeah, whatever you want. Tropicali? Can I have a Tropicali, please? Sure. Can you say yeah, Tropicali? Yeah, yeah. Tropicali? Yeah. Tropicali. Yeah. Always got kicked out of the <laughs> There's a big commitment here saying that it's super fast, you can get it in three minutes. Three minutes of my ass, that was five minutes. Outrageous. Can you get a grip? Probably that was the best thing ever. Didn't last long, did the boys? Hasn't got that little sourdough chew that you get from like Frank and Manka and Pizza Pilgrims, but for a quick lunch or something, can't go wrong. Okay, this is the test. I don't know which one of Mo's gonna hand me, the white shot one or the yellow shot one. We've got to actually try and keep track of which one it is. Okay, next one. Hey, this one. Just the beef is a lot more like melty. The big ones are sweeter. It's all a bit softer. Which one was this one? And the winner is the other one. And I didn't, that was, I did not expect that. I'm actually so shocked. For years I've been going to the white one over the yellow one. I've always looked at the yellow one and thought, nah. But actually the yellow one is better. It's better in every way. I don't know here first. And it's cheaper. Oh, yeah. Pop bricks. No. <laughs> that, was gen that was also not a joke. Uh, so we were at Box Park. We are just on Shoreditch High Street. So just by like Liverpool Streets over there. Comes to a corner. Box Park here, Shoreditch House there. Well then I like this area. Things in Box Park normally don't really last that long. They're kind of like more like pop up for here for a year to kind of get their customer base and move to a more permanent unit. Cook Daily is probably one of the most popular food places here. Do any of the bowls, like the big bowls like you get in Mama's for nine quid. Vegan. They've got weird things like the full English and chicken and mushroom pie that has no chicken in it. It's all vegan. It's very, very popular. So we're raising our limit to nine pounds for this. But it's good value. Oh, amazing. Sick, thanks. But in here we've got lots of veggies. We've got tofu, we've got their bacon, I have no idea how they make their bacon, but they do. Got their house brown sauce in there. Okay, verdict on that is it's really tasty. When we do these cheap eats things, because we do them all in one day, we try and eat as little as possible each place. We just can't stop. Subtle. We've got to throw it out of here twice before. This is mother cocker. They do chicken and they do it real good. So we go for the combo. You get three strips, the big old, big old, tig old strips. Uh, fries and drink, nine pounds. Nice. Thank you very much. So like five years ago, mother cocker started as a joke. Some friends were like, wouldn't it be funny to have a fried chicken business called mother cocker? 
then they kind of were like, actually, that's not such a bad thing. And this was before street food was a real big deal. They bought an old US Army ambulance, got a site here in Truman Brewery, where it still is now today, and started frying chicken and in their own buttermilk and spices and stuff. And this is it. And they've now got, they've also got a stand at Curb. We featured them at Curb as well. Remember that? So where should we go next? What other area of London? Or what other area of the UK? We're well, looking quite good. So those are four of our favourite shortest cheap eats. I think we gave you a nice spread. We gave you a pizza, we gave you a bit of vegan, and we gave you a bit of chicken. There's a lot more vegan stuff coming in London and in Top Jaw. If you like what you see, go check those out and let us know where we should do next. What other area of London do you want to see cheap eats in? Everyone wants to see cheap eats. Christ, cheap eats are so good. Thing, obviously, people are always saying, oh, I'll put more videos out. Blah, 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 blah. We put a lot of effort into each one of our videos, don't we, Will? We want to make more, 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 more. So tell your friends, tell your nan, get your dog to subscribe, okay? Promise? Sweet.